Hi, I'm Jessica Mann, a product designer for the TigerCat Tract Harvesting Products. Today I'm going to walk you around the 822E and 830E carriers and talk about some of the features and benefits. The 822E and the LX830E are the most compact track feller bunchers in the TigerCat track carrier lineup. Strong lift capacity, tight tuck ER boom geometry, and compact tail swing make the 822E or LX830E the perfect choice for plantation thinning, selective felling in natural stands, and final felling applications. Also available as harvesters, the H822E and LH822E are powerful, stable, and compact, built for extreme forest duty. The changes from the D to the E series machines introduces many features to improve efficiency, serviceability, and operator comfort. A redesigned operator's cab is more spacious with an updated seat, more storage areas, and a large overhead camera display. A larger spring-assisted cover allows for greater service access to the pump area. Steps are built in to the cover for accessing the roof, making debris removal easier. A boom slider reduces debris buildup in hard-to-reach areas. Like other current TigerCat machines, a hot shutdown feature has been added to allow the turbocharger to cool before stopping the engine. We'll discuss these changes in more detail as we walk around the machine. We'll start here in the cab, and I will show you the enhancements we have made on the E-Series 822 and 830. The new parallel action air ride seat is wider than previous seats for increased comfort. The seat back reclines and is fully adjustable, with seat angle and seat extension adjustment as well as lumbar support. Integrated heating and cooling keep the operator comfortable in all weather conditions. Additional storage areas and cup holders have been added in the updated plastic panels that surround the seat. Machine controls are easy to reach and well laid out. The HVAC controls feature a new infinitely variable fan speed control, which can be adjusted on the control panel or by the machine control system touchscreen. A hot shutdown feature has been added. This allows the turbo to sufficiently cool before stopping the engine for improved turbo life. An emergency engine stop button has been added to override this feature if necessary. The large windows, narrow posts, and low side engine enclosure assure that the operator has excellent visibility to both the front and sides of the machine. The Skyview camera system with 7 inch monitor is standard on all models. An optional 10 inch or 250 millimeter overhead monitor and rear view camera are also available. The cab lights are controlled by two separate switches. Each switch turns on half the lights, allowing the operator to adjust the brightness depending on the situation. A third switch controls all other lights on the machine. There's a door located on the left side of the cab that's used as an emergency exit. There's an additional emergency exit located on the roof of the cab. The 822E, L822E, H822E, and LH822E use an open loop hydraulic drive system. Hydraulic improvements on the open loop machines include improved horsepower management, improved heat rejection, and a case circuit to provide consistent anti-cavitation flow. The case circuit pumps oil from the case strain manifold and sends through the case strainer. Makeup oil is added to the case pump and is filtered through two 6 micron filters. The LX830E features a closed loop hydraulic drive circuit for when higher travel speed is required. The closed loop circuit is also available on 822E feller bunchers. TigerCat designs and builds strong forest duty undercarriages. Their wide stance and sturdy construction lead to a rock solid stability, poise, and operator comfort when harvesting timber. The 822E flat bottom machines come standard with the R6-152 undercarriage and the R7-150 is available as an option. The ramp angle on the front of all undercarriages reduces ground disturbance and gives greater climbing ability. The LX830E and 822E leveling machines use the R7163 leveling undercarriage. The TigerCat leveling undercarriage system provides excellent stability in steep slope applications. It uses two massive hydraulic cylinders and heavy steel sections for a solution that is both simple and robust. The elongated track frames include an extra roller that increases the machine's footprint without compromising maneuverability. The patented incline pin axis geometry of the upper pivot provides excellent stability when leaning to the side without the need for complicated linkages or electronics. This design keeps the machine's center of mass close to the ground, which also in increases stability. An integrated toolbox is standard on all flat bottom machines and an optional bolt-on toolbox is available for leveling machines. There are many track options available, 
ranging from 24 to 36 inch wide with single, double, or triple grousers. Extended grousers are also available for leveling machines with 24 and 28 inch wide tracks. A factory installed cable assist mount is available on leveling undercarriages. The 822E and LX830E feller bunchers feature an 8.4 meter, 27 foot, tight tuck boom system that provides a small minimum cut radius and keeps the head off the ground when it's close to the machine. Trees can be cut right in front of the machine and then swung behind to minimize the disturbance of standing trees. The harvester boom is available in 8.2 meter, 27 fix, 9.1 meter, 30 foot fix, and 10.8 meter, 36 foot telescopic configurations. The robust design and construction of tire cap booms can handle the demands of any forestry application. The hydraulic hoses, tubes, and connections are protected along the entire length of the boom. All booms use the patented ER system, which allows the machine operator to extend and retract the boom in a horizontal motion smoothly and quickly using a single joystick. The ER boom system improves fuel efficiency, increases production, and reduces operator fatigue. The pump enclosure cover has increased in size from the D-series to the E-series to allow greater access to the pumps and hydraulic components. The removable side panel that used to be on the D has been now incorporated into the hinge cover, allowing easier access to the pilot manifold and the roof and side door pump. A spring assist has been added to the larger door to aid in opening. Once open, it can be used as a work platform. When the pump cover is closed, it acts as a standing platform for accessing the roof and boom area for cleaning off debris. To access the standing platform, open the latch cover, climb the two steps using the two handles located on either side of the platform. A tie-off is also located on the side of the boom to tie a safety harness. A new debris system has been added to the E-Series. It consists of a slope roof profile, a boom slider, and additional debris belting where the boom meets the roof. The boom slider moves with the boom to shed debris as the belt rides on top of the boom. Fully raising the boom before opening the enclosure roof will prevent most forest debris from entering inside the enclosure by pushing it off the rear of the sloped roof. Three access covers on the boom slider can be removed to easily access the hydraulic hoses underneath. The engine roof and right hand side platform are hydraulically controlled from the cab with independent switches. The platform provides a convenient work area to perform a number of daily checks. From here, the operator has access to the engine oil dipstick and fill cap, fuel filter water separator, and the entire side of the engine. The engine air intake pre-cleaner is mounted on the inside of the enclosure roof. Intake air is drawn through the grill on the side of the enclosure. Cleanout covers are located on the inside of the roof, which can also be removed in colder weather to allow for warmer intake air to be drawn in from the engine area. When opened, the clamshell style engine roof exposes all sides of the engine, as well as the cooler and fire suppression tanks, if equipped. The fuel tank is incorporated into the left side of the engine enclosure roof. The control system for the ground leveling fueling is located here, on the side of the enclosure. On the left side of the machine, there's a service area for easy access to many hydraulic and engine components. The hydraulic filters are located directly above the hydraulic tank, with ample room for servicing and a drip tray below to catch any oil. An optional vacuum pump is located beside the hydraulic filters. Vacuum pump is used when replacing or repairing any hydraulic components in the field. This reduces the need to drain the entire tank. Also in this area is the hydraulic fill pump, as well as the hose and tube. The electrical box is located close to the center of the machine, which improves battery cable routing and reduces the total length of electrical harnesses. If the machine is equipped with a cold weather kit, the coolant heater is mounted here beside the hydraulic tank. The coolant heater has its own separate fuel tank to allow for mixing different fuels in cold climates. The DEF tank is located on the side of the machine. Through this access door, you can gain access to the tank for filling without requiring the roof to be opened. Also located here is the hydraulic tank air vent valve and the bottom fueling system. This valve must be opened be before performing service on the hydraulic system. This will relieve any pressure built up in the tank and minimize hydraulic oil loss when removing hoses and components. There is an aluminum walkway that gives access to the engine, hydraulic valves, and cooling system. The aluminum walkway can be removed to gain access to the main control valve. The filter for the HVAC unit is located in the cab side door and can be replaced by removing the vented cover. 
I hope you enjoyed the walk around of the 822E and 830E carriers. For more information on this or any other tire cap products, please contact your nearest dealer.